Hi everyone, welcome to Tracy Board's Crokinole. My name is Linder Wendt, and I will be walking you through this match between Andrew Hutchinson and Garrett Tracy. Andrew Hutchinson is a mainstay at the top of the NCA standings. He finished this year's NCA Tour in third place, while Garrett had himself a fantastic morning to secure a spot in the top 10 and continue on to this final 16 combatants. We will see Garrett Tracy starting the round with his first shot, which he sinks for a 20. Andrew Hutchinson, notably good at shooting his open 20s, sinks it in return, and we are back to Garrett, who comes up just short. This leaves a nice little backboard for Andrew. We'll see if he can convert. And yes, he does. He's up 120 with the hammer. Garrett missing a bit long and off that time, see what Andrew does with that. Just a solid hit and stick, and he plays behind the 20 hole, giving Garrett a tough time if he were to try and get a 20 there, but instead he opts to just take Andrew's back out. Now Andrew's disc is closer to the peg, we'll see if Garrett can play it, but oh, he hits the peg directly, it bounces back out, and Hutchinson has an open shot at the hole, which he sinks. He now has a commanding lead up two 20s with the hammer. <laughs> Garrett gets a bit of a fortunate bounce there to touch Hutchinson's disc and stay valid, making Hutchinson shoot at his. Hutchinson misses the takeout there, but that should not be a problem since Garrett is down bad here. Garrett has little to work with. He misses the 20 there, and this round is just about sealed in favor of Andrew Hutchinson. Garrett taking a final shot. See what he can pull off. Gets a nice takeout, inconsequential, but still a nice shot. Andrew hits back with the takeout. We'll see Andrew here converting this hanger 20, giving himself a nice little lead, plus that side shot on the open 20, and Garrett's little peg magic with a nice celebration to <laughs> be proud of there. Andrew will start us off in the second round with an open 20. See how Garrett Tracy responds. He hits a 20 right back. And now Hutchinson keeps the momentum coming, and this is something he's been doing all year long on the NCAA Tour. As I mentioned, he finished the Tour in third place, a very strong standing. And while Garrett doesn't have as strong of a NCAA Tour resume as Hutchinson, he was really just playing lights out this morning, and as I said, finished in 10th place in the morning round. They've completed half the round here, being absolutely perfect on their open 20s. Hutchinson hits his fifth, and Garrett misses just a bit right. We'll see if Andrew can convert this one into a 20, and if he can get the takeout as well. He does get the takeout, but no 20, leaving a heavy hanger for Garrett. We'll see what he can do with that, and he drains it. Great shot from Garrett Tracy there. Now we're tied back up with two discs each, and Hutchinson goes long. We'll see what Garrett does with that. Gets a nice takeout. <laughs> Little peg action there, but he bounces back. And oh, Andrew just misses the rebound 20 off the peg, which would have secured at least a tie. Instead, Garrett gets the takeout and knots this match up at two points each. Nice hanger 20 conversion from Garrett there. And contestants will be playing four rounds here, so we are starting round three. Garrett leaves a hanger for Hutchinson, which he absolutely makes. Garrett missing off a bit again. We'll see what Andrew does with this. And he gets a nice conversion on that heavy hanger. Oh, and Garrett coming in a little too hot again, leaving a heavy hanger for Andrew. You can see contestants sharing a bit of a chuckle there. Always in good spirits at the World Crokinole Championships. No one ever taking it too seriously that they can't have fun. Garrett with a nice shot there to get another 20. Andrew leaving a hanger. Garrett is far from out of this one, even though he is down. Andrew going through Hogan's Alley on the side there, leaving his disc behind. Is there enough room for Garrett to squeeze in a 20? Not like that, unfortunately. There is. He misses the takeout, but he does leave Andrew in a precarious position here. Andrew opts for just a touch, not trying to take out the black disc. And we'll see what Garrett shoots at. It looks like he opts to go through his own and secure the takeout. He's got two in the 15, so in terms of total points, the contestants are tied right now, but Andrew's got the extra shot. He follows through probably a bit more than he intended to there, leaving a bit of a hanger for Garrett to shoot at. Garrett, oh, just a little too much zip on that, bounces out of the hole. 
Andrew just needed that final push to get it, which he got, and he takes this round and is leading 4-2. You can see some nice highlights there, mostly heavy hanger conversions from both participants. And round four will be started by Hutchinson with a open 20. Garrett follows in turn. And Andrew keeping the pressure on. See how Garrett responds. He sends it right back to Andrew. Oh, and Andrew leaving a bit of a hanger there. We'll see if Garrett can get the takeout hanger 20, which he absolutely nails. So now Garrett's up a 20 with the hammer, which is a great place to be. Andrew getting right back on the 20s bandwagon, but Garrett is not relenting here. So Andrew needs to not only keep making his 20s, but also get a mistake out of Garrett that he can capitalize on, as Garrett is one shot ahead at the moment. Garrett sticking with it, 6 20s in, perfect round for Garrett thus far, we'll see if he can keep it up. As he lines up his second to last shot, and he makes it, securing at least a tie in this round. Andrew gets his 7th 20, and Garrett misses the perfect round, but that's all he needed for the win. Here's a review of his hangar 20 and his open 20. What a great round from Garrett Tracy there, nearly securing a perfect round. Once again, thank you for watching on Tracy Boards Crokinole. I'm Linder Went, and have a great day. Yeah. Uh -huh.